We begin a new series this morning called Five Ways to Boost, and this morning we're concentrating on your longevity. Here with advice on how to add years to your life is Joel Weber, Senior Associate Editor of Men's Health Magazine. Welcome back, Joel. How are you? Good. How are you, Maggie? I'm well. I'm excited to see our, our little ladder of life here. Let's start at the bottom. Take some steps. Okay. Uh, one of the first things you can do to really add a couple years to your life is eating raw vegetables. And the beauty of raw vegetables is that it preserves the antioxidants. The moment you start cooking them, it, you start to lose some of those antioxidants, up to 30%. So really just try and have a cup of raw vegetables a day. The more you cook, the less nutritious. Yes, exactly. But right. still, you know, just eat your vegetables. That's really what it comes down to. So if you like the taste of cooked over raw, do that instead. Uh, yeah, at least get it that way. Yep. Add three years to your life if you eat more nuts. What kind of nuts? Well, almonds and walnuts are my favorite. But really, all nuts are great because they're high in monounsaturated fat. And one of the great things about that is that it keeps you feeling full and keeps your arteries clean. When Loma Linda University researchers have actually looked at some of the longest living people in the world, they um, come back to the fact that they eat nuts five times a week. That's what I was going to ask you. Who figured yeah. all this out? Yeah, all research. Um, we'll have it on the website for you guys to okay. take a look. Very good. Next. So two handfuls a day of nuts. That's two a good ratio. Two handfuls yeah. a day. Maintain a healthy weight. Th adds three years to your life. How do you know what a healthy weight is? Well, you guys talked a little bit about this before in the show. And body mass index is one of the, mm -hmm. the ways that researchers and doctors do that and it's a it's a ratio between your height and your weight and we have some, an on-screen graphic for people to kind of take a look for instance I'm 6'1 190 so that puts me at a, at a 25 which is right at the cusp of being normal and overweight so I, I can even stand to improve but one of the best things about BMI is that it gives you a really broad a range of, of things to look at. So if you're at a 25 to 35 range, that can take three years off your life. Mm. But the best way that you can get your BMI down is really just to lift weights and exercise. Okay, very good. Make more friends, add seven years yeah, to your life. Yeah, exactly. I like that one. You know, life is stressful and we're, and we're, we're constantly bombarded by chronic stress, but the, one of the best ways that you can just beat that stress is to have friends who are close. And when researchers have looked at that, it can add up to seven years to your life if you have a large network of friends. So have them over for game night, do, ri do rituals together, get out of town, call each other on Sunday, drink some wine. That's a great way to beat some stress. So important, because as you get older, you kind of tend to forget. We forget it, yeah. So, so keep your friends close. And lastly, I guess Bobby McFerrin was right. Don't yeah. worry, be Don't happy. Don't worry, be happy. Go to the spa, volunteer, mentor people, do whatever makes you happy. You know, one of the things that they've looked at is actually golf. Ah, so many Interesting, people are right? cheering right now. Yeah, golf. exactly. Um, golfers tend to live longer because they're outside, they're with their friends, and they're, they're walking up to four miles around. At, while eating nuts and raw exactly, vegetables. Exactly, so it kind of <laughs> combines all these things. So if ever in doubt, just get on the golf course. All right, Joe Weber, <laughs> thank you so much.